Hi, I'm Mary, welcome back to my channel. So I finally got round to choosing a tent for the PCT next year, and I've ended up going for the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2. I've had a chance to try this tent out because I hiked the Great Glen Way a couple of weeks ago. So what I'd like to do today is just go through some of the benefits of the tent, but also my opinion on it as well. I chose this because it's got two doors and they're claiming that it's their most lightest yet spacious two door tent yet. So the tent is made out of a breathable nylon ripstop fabric and also a polyester mesh and this is one of the reasons why I actually chose this tent. The idea of being able to lie in your tent when it's a, a, a clear night where it's not raining or really stormy and look up at the stars is something that I just can't wait to start doing. I did try it on the Great Glen Way but unfortunately there was so much mist it did get me a little bit damp in my sleeping bag and what's really great is that you've still got the privacy section here so you do have that area here where when you're lying down it's on both sides you can't actually be seen. I do like that feature a lot. The other feature that I really really like about this tent is the fact that it's got two doors and why I like that so much is because especially when you've got the flyover I tend to keep my bag over here and I tend to do my kitchen stuff here so when I'm cooking and preparing meals or just things like that I find that I have a lot of things here and having to just get access through one area with climbing over everything all the time it's not something I like doing I have tried a tunnel tent before and I, I just found that a little bit tricky so having another door over here I just found really really convenient because what I would do is I'd put my my sleeping mat down that side of the wall and my sleeping bag and if I needed to get up and go to the loo in the night or just have access to and from the tent I wasn't climbing over everything it was always kept free so I really really like that and also you can be really strategic with your tent if you because you've got two doors you can have sunset on one side and sunrise on another so that's another thing that I really like as well you do have the dual zips on both sides so if you're wanting a little bit of extra ventilation you can open the bottom here or you've got the, the top here and it does open all the way they're the two main reasons I actually purchased this tent the other reason let me take my shoes off is the space so a lot of the tents that I looked at I found that they were really low down so my theory is if I'm out there camping for six months and it's really bad weather and I'm wanting to be in my tent quite early on a night I'm going to be wanting a space that has got a little bit of room to live in which I know if you're looking at ultralight things the idea of having something maybe a little bit too spacious goes against the grain but at the weight this tent is I think it's about 990 grams in total I thought it was worth it and I have gone for the UL2, they do do a UL3 as well if there's two or three people. So the UL2 for me is plenty of space because I am quite short, I'm just slightly over five foot. So me lying in this tent, <laughs> I can more or less stretch my arms out <laughs> and still not be touching the floor at the other side. And being able to sit in it, completely legs out, absolutely loads of space. Due to the minimalist pole structure using DAC feather like poles, it keeps the ceiling really, really high. And I love that fact to be able to sit in a tent and do that with your arms. So getting changed, getting ready, moving things about. And one thing that I was always doing, especially when it rains, is sitting upright and sorting my bag out so that there's just so much space. And I do love that about this tent. It has three internal storage pockets. The one I like the most is the one in the ceiling here. I like to keep my headlamp in here so when I'm in my tent and reading it's actually shining onto the tent rather than being on my head. I really like that. And the other thing that's really nice is when you've got your mobile phone in it you can actually pop it in there and have the cable from your earphones coming out through these gaps. You've got one on either side and that's really nice if you just want to sit and listen to music. It's also got two storage pockets on the side 
this is where your head would be so you've got one either side of the door nice big spacious areas and these would quite happily fit a couple of items and that's all you've got on the inside you can get accessories for this tent so you can get a ceiling loft there is these extra tags that they attach to but if i'm being honest the kind of hiking that i'm planning on doing i don't think i'm going to be needing any more storage because i'm going to be trying to go as lightweight as possible now I know I've got tiny feet, but another feature of this tent is the fact that it does have structured foot end corners, which means you're getting so much more usable space. I think with tents normally, what tends to happen is they go in at a really tight angle to the end of the tent. Whereas with this one, it raises upright more or less at a 90 degree angle and you've got all this extra usable space. Now the floor and the fly of the tent are made out of a silicon treated nylon ripstop fabric and that has got 1200 millimetres of waterproof polyurethane coating. I know when I was in the tent I had a lot of rain on two of the nights and it didn't get me wet at all so I stayed dry all night. Another thing I really like about this is that when you've actually got the fly on the tent you can still roll it all the way back with these little door stashes here on either side and also the door here on the inside is slightly higher than this little bit here so it has got a little bit of more of a bend to get into it but for me it's absolutely no problem being a bit shorter now i'm sorry to say that there is some things i do not like about this tent and i want to be honest with you the first thing i absolutely hated was the guy lines on the actual fly it wasn't so bad on the tent so this is the tent one here these are a fixed length, so there is nothing to be able to adjust this with, which is fine if you've just got the tent and you're on a flat ground. But if you've got a really uneven ground, these can sometimes be a little bit hard to put out, but generally these are, aren't too bad. My main concern though is the actual fly that really, really bugged me. When I'd pegged everything out and got everything perfect, what I found is that there wasn't enough give on this so the actual fly itself would rest against the mesh at the bottom and I know that's where you can get condensation and that's where you start having problems with um, leaking into the tent. I mean luckily I didn't when I had it but I know that it can be a bit of an issue. What I actually had to do because I don't have anything to be able to pull it further I ended up making a bit of a knot up here and then dragging it out so it did keep it taut. So that is one thing that I really wish that it, they would change. What I have heard is that you can modify it with some shock cords so I'm going to make sure I do that before I go away on the PCT. Now another thing that really bugged me with this tent was the zipper guards. So you do have your storm flap here which is a great feature when the weather's really really bad and it protects the zip. But what happens is when you're trying to open this, unless you're actually holding this section away and zipping up like this, what happens is it constantly gets caught on this material here and this was always always really really tricky if you do it slowly and with two hands it's absolutely fine i found it particularly bad when it was raining that's when it happened the most but it was particularly close to the zip this section which i think could be modified somehow so i wish big agnes hadn't have done that i don't know if i've got a faulty one or if all of them are like that but i have heard that this is a bit of a problem with these tents so yes big agnes please try and fix that because it drove me insane now I'm really really happy with this tent, I'm glad I chose it and yes I'm definitely going to be taking it out on the PCT with me next year. I think it's really good value for money, it was $400 and I also managed to get it in the UK for just under £400 so I did pay a little bit more because it's an imported tent but I'm really really glad I made this decision. I really really like all the features of it and yes there are some niggles but I think it's worth it for the way off between the quality of the construction of the tent, the lightness of it and the versatility of having the two doors. So I really really hope this video has been useful. If you've got any questions at all please put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!